we love it. I should, and when I say we, there's uh, other instructors, of course, I'm not the only instructor. And we all just love it and we love taking care of our lab and, and being with the students here and, and you know, seeing them when they understand the skills and why it's so important. So I have been a nurse for over 35 years now. Um, and I started out in nursing school working as an STNA um, while I was in school. So this is the only job I've ever known as being a working in the healthcare field um, and taking care of people. So uh, I did a lot of long-term care in the nursing home, which is what uh, our class is kind of geared to the elderly residents. So a lot with that. And I did a lot of home care for Children's Hospital. Um, so I've done a little bit of variety, but I really love the long-term care, which is what I do now. So that's great for me, so. That's a biggie, especially in nursing. Uh, a very caring and compassionate person. They really want, you know, you want to make money, you want to work, but you also need to have that caring, compassionate aspect. Um, you know, it's not just about being a robotic type of person, it's about really caring for that person and understanding what their needs are. There are 23 right now, I believe that the state says they have to learn. Um, so we teach 23 plus, many more, just, but a basic skill would be giving a bath. How do I bathe somebody, a bed bath? Um, how do I walk someone, which we call ambulation to their wheelchair? How do I put somebody on a bed pan? Um, feeding, you know, just, just very basic skills that, you know, we need to, to know how to take care of people. Very basic, but there's still a skill aspect to it. to work in pairs, you know, um, you know, you, you don't have to lift a lot and we try to get students to learn the proper basics of lifting with ergonomics and we try to teach that. And, you know, we don't want anybody going in and trying to lift a really heavy resident by themselves, you're going to throw your back out. So we do teach the aspects of that too and how important it is to have a partner or to have a mechanical lift, which we show them that. Or, you know, just to be safe, we do two man lifts and transfers with two people. To have the one, but that would be their STNA certificate, which registers them through the uh, Ohio Department of Health with a, a registry card through the, for STNA. Um, that is so important because in the day when I started out, you just showed up at their door and they would hire you. There weren't any qualifications and now there are qualifications. They want you to be certified um, and have that credential. It's so important today. And, you know, um, somebody without it, they're not going to hire you, it, you know, and um, it just looks so good on your resume in, in the future too, if you move on beyond that also. could go to a long-term care, which is my favorite, um, and do work there as an STNA. They could go to the hospital. We have a lot of students that end up at Licking Memorial. And over there, they call them, there's different names for STNA. So there's a certified nurse's assistant, nursing assistant, nurse's aide, it's all the same. So I think at Licking, they call them CNAs. But so there's a wide range of places they could go work assisted living, um, the hospital, long-term care, and there's probably other ones, home care. A lot of them go into home care also, hospice. So there's a lot of options. It's all over the place, yes. It would not be hard to walk in and, and get a job wherever you want right now, It you know, and it's like that nursing all the time, really. 
think starting right now is somewhere between 10 and $12 an hour for mostly around here in Licking County. So we have a classroom, we're very lucky, and we also have a lab. So there, di there are days you might come in and you're just going to hear a lecture all day, you're going to be taking notes, that sort of thing, learning a lot of theory. And then there's going to be days that you're going to be in our lab all day and you're going to be doing so much hands-on. That's where we really get down to it. They have to be able to perfect these skills to pass the class as well as pass it on, on paper what I would say. So, you know, they might come in, I think one of the first days they come in, we practice hand washing in the lab, just basic again, you gotta know how to wash your hands properly. Um, and then we practice now a biggie is the PPE with gowning and mask and gloves. So that would be, you know, the first day I think is that, and then maybe a couple simple skills, like maybe how to use a gate belt and what a wheelchair looks like and how to use it and those type of things. But, you know, we could, some days we're in there, if it's a four hour class, we might be in a lab all four hours. Or if it's an eight hour, we could be in there all eight hours of the day. So very busy. Many different varieties. We have uh, 8 a.m. to 12, which is a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. We have a 5.30 to 9.30, of course that's evening that meets Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Uh, we have an all day, which is considered eight to five on Wednesdays. And uh, we have a one to five, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And um, some, we have an eight to five on Fridays. So there, we have a lot of variety, a lot to choose from. Uh, I couldn't just pick one, but we do have a lot. You know, I'll run into them maybe out in the public and they'll tell me, you know, uh, we just, I just finished uh, nursing school. In fact, there's one student that actually works here in another adult program and she just uh, took her state boards for nursing and passed and we're thrilled for her. And um, sometimes we'll run into them at licking, working, and they're just so happy and Maybe they're going on to get their RN, some aren't, but it's just so nice to run into them and hear their stories and, and the good things that they're doing and the different paths that they're taking. Call me directly at 740-364-2297 and I can help them get started. Or they could call the adult ed um, basic number, which is 740-364-2280, and they could help them and probably they'll end up talking to me again. But those are two good ways. I think they can get online and request for someone to contact them also. And, and again, it would probably be me getting a hold of them and contacting them. Um, that's the best way and I can help them get started, tell them what they need. Um, you know, they'll need work keys and the different things that they'll need before they can start here in the adult ed program.